All right, we're going to get into the famous questions. All right. So I want you to put your you real okay estate agent ready? hat ready? on. Ready? Here we go. You ready? Good <laughs> luck. Real estate hat. Good luck. Okay. Softballs, so are, softballs are done. Uh, yeah, I can phone yeah, a friend. There's no phone friends. <laughs> <laughs> get ready for the real estate show that takes you across the barriers and into the danger zone. That bitch in real estate podcast with your host, Tenacious T. Okay, so you're thinking of a description, and you're typing up your description. Yeah. What is your favorite word? My favorite word in a description? I would say... <laughs> Soaring ceilings. Uh, you know, massive views. Massive views. I don't think we've had a massive views, have massive, we, Todd? I'm going to go a little bit out of the box. <laughs> That's good. Massive, massive views. Especially being up in Fountain Hills and some of the areas. And it's very millennial. We it's were talking about massive. bringing the millennials back into it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, I knew that was feeding you right there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Again, thinking of the descriptive word. Yeah. What is your least favorite word? You're reading a description. Seller is motivated. <laughs> no. Psh, I won't say the other one. They word. all are. They all are motivated. <laughs> I often say they listed it, right? Right, yeah. And they're obviously wanting yeah. to sell it. As you saw, that was an easy one for me to take <laughs> over. Yes, <laughs> it's it like was. 50 grand over price and they're not really motivated. Yeah, they were, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, um, this is going to be an interesting question for me. I'm so curious to see how you're going to answer this. Yeah. So we know that recently you've had some health challenges yeah. and um, survived that. Yeah. And you've been through a lot of things in your life. Yeah. And you wake up in the morning and you open those eyes and yeah. you know you've got a crap load of work yeah. and you've got different things you have to face and you don't feel like getting up out of bed. What motivates you? What turns you on? Kids. My yeah. kids. My twins. Yeah. My twin 16-year-old girls. Tell me yeah. about them. Um, Christmas Eve babies, you know, one was born, uh, 4.9 and the other one was 5.9. Oh my gosh. And now they're like five foot six and like five, five <laughs> and like five, three. You Beautiful. Know? I've yeah. seen pictures of them. Thank What's their you. names? Uh, Nicolette and Gianna. And Gia Very Nicolette, Italian. Nicolette's one year older than Gianna. No. Oh, no, one year, excuse me. What? I was minute. like, oh. Yeah, was <laughs> um, not going to question yeah, that any further. Question, yeah. <laughs> one minute. But yeah, I mean, I mean, that's what, you know, that's what motivates me and going through some, uh, you know, a couple of bankruptcies. Yeah. Uh, um, or I say one and a half yeah, because the I... other one I was not on paper, but still, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, going through those challenges and um, still having to, you know, work, work hard. And um, So now that they're young women and in their yeah. teens, um, does that motivate you even more to show them? how much they can get out of life. Yeah, you know, what was pretty cool was that, um, you know, for Christmas or for their birthday, I bought them, I was able to buy them a car, right? Aww. So, you know, and it was pretty cool when you can buy your kid a yeah. car. Yeah, yeah. Um, I still think it's crazy buying them a car, but I was able to buy them a car, right? <laughs> but they'll be together. They're, they're twins, twins. Yeah, so they'll they're always twins. have each other. Yes, they, they, you know, so they ha I bought them a vehicle that, that to be able to provide for them, yeah. they'll do that. Um, you know, and then um, one of my kids, they're writing, they just wrote this essay. Literally, I just read it last night. And it was a, we have an organization movement in Fountain Hills called uh, The Coalition. Mm -hmm. And they help, uh, you know, troubled teens and oh, I love it. all that. And um, awesome, co awesome program. And she's in one of the honors classes, and they were asked to write an essay. Um, about if you had all this money in the world, money was no object, and you didn't have to work, what would you do with it? Aww. So uh, she want, she she drove herself over, which was crazy, and she wanted yeah. me to read it. So she popped it up on the computer, and I read it. I go, you wrote this? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I go, you brought tears to my eyes. She goes, yeah, and that's hard to do because you don't. Right, like, yeah. So it was just about, you know, growing up when she was real young, um, knowing the struggles that, that you know, that, that, I, that I went through. Uh, that we went through and um, knowing how um, how hard I had to work to pull us out of that yeah. with the support and the help of family mm -hmm. and friends, uh, of course. No one succeeds alone in the, in the hard times. You know, we yeah. I had a, I had great support from friends and family and that she actually recognized that. Right. And, which I, you know, you know, you try to shield your kids, you know, yeah. from certain things and you don't want them. You know, one of the things is, hey, we didn't go out to dinner much. Uh, when, if, you know, for a couple of years when we were young, but when we did, you know, we ordered off the, you know, we had to keep it under five bucks. Yeah. Right. And I read that, I'm like, holy oh. crap. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, she's like, well, you know, dad, my, my dad, uh, had, had 
the perseverance and the drive. Mm -hmm. And he was working six jobs to, just to support the family. And she had this all written in there. How and beautiful. I'm like, it, you know, because one of the things was, that. It, it is right. <laughs> and, and there's a, you know, there's a prize if she wins. Yeah. And, you know, she's like, you know, she already won. I, I, that's why I was like, <laughs> I don't even care about the prize. Right. It's really cool. And she goes, you know, because some people may look at, you know, the cars that we drive, the house that we live in, they may think we always had it easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's not the case. Right. You know, baseball got taken away from me. Um, a couple of field businesses. And yep. um, it's pretty amazing hearing that, and it, it did bring tears to my eyes. And it, that you know, I'm not, I don't, I'm not an outside emotional. We person. got the picture. You're yeah. a man. I'm a man. And we, uh, you're John Wayne over here. He yeah. doesn't cry. Okay. Inside, <laughs> big yeah, tough baseball guy. Big time, right? You can't that. show no crying in baseball. Come yeah. on. You know, so so that that's what really like that just gave me a little more pep in my step. Ah, God, that last that's beautiful. Night, so. Todd, you have daughters too, so I'm sure three it's daughters. Similar. I know what it's like, and you know, been there with the hard times. That we knew every every you know, buy an adult meal, get your kids meals for free in yeah. town back after the crash. Try sitting down your six foot tall, eleven year old, and ordering off the kids menu. Right. Yeah, they did, <laughs> but no, I've been there too, yeah. man. It's. It's yeah. rough, but it is our yeah. why. 100%. It is our why. It's a big why. It keeps us pushing forward and, you know, um, guiding them through their, their young adult life yeah. and, and making, hopefully, they make it's the a right privilege. choices. It is. It's, 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 a it's amazing. Blessed. It's amazing. So along the same lines, <clears throat> what turned you off? What is that thing that people do or something that happens in the world yeah. that you're just like, uh, can't, nope. Yeah. Drama. Yeah. Just get it out. I mean, just don't even bother. I mean, I'll be nice to you and all that, but you're not going to get it. You know, you'll be on the, you know, the um, do not call list. <laughs> so is it the whiny or just why are you even bringing that up? The, the whining, the oh, woe is me. Yeah. Um, you know, if you have a problem with something, go to that and address it head on. You play um, the little violin for yeah, them. Yeah. Little yeah violin. Like this thing right there, the smallest violin in the world. <laughs> yeah. Well, you need a dime, call <laughs> someone that cares. <laughs> right. You can't, there's no more pay phones anymore. Right? Yeah, they'll, for a dime. they'll look at you like there's something Give wrong. Give them Western Union telegram. There's a telegram, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's it, the drama. Just and do what you say you're going to do. Yeah. Like, I don't care if you've never done it before and you told me you have. Just figure out, you just Are go and figure out. Are we getting on the subject of lazy agents, uh, maybe? Lazy agents. <laughs> that's a, oof, let's, yes. Let's just touch on that topic yeah. just a little bit. Um, How much again, time do we have? Uh, right. right. <laughs> Lifestyle and, agents. Uh, I, Right. I'm thirty thousand dollar a year millionaire. Yeah. Yes. It's crazy. Like like <laughs> listen, this industry, I don't care what industry you're in, no matter what you do, if you want to succeed in it, it's gonna take a lot of hard work. Yep. And my biggest thing is like they talk all the you know, not everybody obviously, but a lot of agents will talk the big game mm -hmm. and then you know, go look at their production level and you're like Listen, you're doing like five deals a year. <laughs> Which is, I'm not saying that there's nothing right, wrong no, with that. Uh, right. You know, average. That's your average. That's, that's your average. Yeah. Agent. Yet yes. you're talking and you're you're telling yourself like you're doing you know 40, 50 deals plus a year, and you want and you're driving around on a you know brand new Beamer or mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. and you're playing that that you're playing that role of that lifestyle agent. Yet you're not willing to put the work in. Right. And then you right. complain it's everyone else's fault. Right. Right. Oh, totally. It's, it's just do the work. You know, my, I have three rules on my team, and, and it, it, there's a lot that goes into what I'm about to say. Show up, be on time, and be open minded. Yeah. If you can do all those three, you'll never have, you'll never not have a seat in our office. And that's a unicorn almost, though. It, 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 it is really almost is. a unicorn. It, it really is. <laughs> Todd, do you have some unicorns <laughs> that we don't know about? One of the things that I admire too about you, before we get to one of my favorite questions, is the fact that even through your health struggles, you were working like 50 to 70 yeah. hours a week. It was, yeah. Uh, so, probably not the smartest thing. <laughs> well, probably not. But again, I don't want to hear any back talk when I say go show that client again. Yes, they want to see another 40 homes. Yep. So. <laughs> yeah. So true. I, I, mean, I remember literally I was about literally going into surgery uh, on December 20th of last year oh, in, in 2017. 18. 18. 18. Right. Last, yeah. 18. Yeah. And I was putting the deal together right before they were wailing me out. To go into surgery, I had to get it done. Hold on, not yeah. yet. Keep the knife down, Doc. I've got to close this deal. Wait a minute. I had to get the agent up in Prescott, connected with my investor because I knew the agent up there to put oh the deal God. together, and we put it together. And was an investor. We flipped it. And, 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 yeah. Did I say John Wayne? Yeah. <laughs> Which was, you know, and they had maybe a little bit medicated at that point, but right. oh God, that, that should have been on camera. I would have liked to have seen that. Oh, um, so uh, yeah, but I was working. I mean, all through chemo yeah. and radiation the whole fall. Yeah. I mean, I was still, you know, putting in the, you know, 50 plus hours. 
it probably was key to keeping your mind yeah. sharp. It was. And off yeah. of yeah. everything else. You know, it, 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 what I'll say is it, um, I'm used to surgeries. Mm-hmm. I'm used to being injured. Yeah. For sports. Yeah. Uh, and I'm used to what I had to do pre-surgery. Mm-hmm. Put your team together. Do your rehab. Put your doctors, have your surgery, then you have post surgery rehab, right. and you get back on the field. Yeah. So I literally took that ex- the same approach. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, with with colon cancer, it's a little bit more. Uh, it's a little more intense. Intense, <laughs> right? Slightly. <It's> slightly intense. <laughs> um, you know, colostomy bag, all that stuff yeah. afterwards for about six months. But yet, I mean, that's the approach I took, and, yeah. and I never thought I was going to die ever. It never crossed my mind one time. And this, folks, is why he is a multiple franchise owner and mm-hmm. leader in our industry. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. It's the vision, right? That's right. the vision you it's talked the about. Vision. Yeah, the yeah. vision. It's the yeah. vision. And, what, and, and there were, don't get me wrong, after surgery, I, had, I did have a hard time with yeah. recovery. Um, and I didn't work from, you know, December 20th to um, probably beginning of April. And but I had a great Good. team behind me. Good. I just I, I quit it. I wasn't seeing <laughs> yes. anybody. I wasn't eating. I was just yeah. staying in my bed or in the hospital. We yeah. were back and forth for a while, and um, I just you know I, I had a great support uh, team behind me. Yeah. That was able to just keep the business going. Uh, and then your April, family. my family, yeah, and your team they is were, your family too. My team's too. my family. Yeah. It is. And um, April, I had my reversal surgery, and um, then after that, I've been been going, been going. So we're strong. ready to pull dance now. Yeah, I'm ready to pull. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Ready. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, we will bleep this out. Your live folks will get to hear it though. What is your favorite curse word? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, that goes with one of the gifts I have for you. Yeah. We'll discuss that at the end here. <clears throat> yeah. But it is a universal, uh, I would say most of the people like that one. So yeah. we'll invite you back for episode 36, uh, and it's many uses. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. if so, That's not one of Todd's. That wasn't one of yours. No, you, I know. Mm-hmm. You want to tell us what no, yours I'm, was again? I'm, it's all yeah. about Rich today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to think about a noise or a sound. Sound, yeah. What noise or sound do you love? You know, I like, believe it or not, I like the noise of a big band. Yeah. I really like, I like, I like the, the, swing, the sound of that. Swing, swing really band. There's, there's a live recording of Frank Sinatra, and, and I can't remember the name of the song, but he says, Ben, he gets ready, folks. We're going to take the roof yeah. off this building right now. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. It, it just is. brings joy and happiness. It, it makes you just feel it. Yeah. yeah. Big time. I agree. Yeah. What noise or sound do you hate? Like, like, scree- like, uh, so when I was young, I was, I was with my grandfather and he was holding me. We were in Revere and we were 4th of July and a brick of fireworks, firecrackers went off. Oh, the really? So loud noises still yeah. to this day scare the shit out of me. A little sensory overload yeah, then, yeah. Yes. Like fire alarms, uh, fire trucks. Oh, Please. so that explains why you couldn't go for a ride along then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had my husband and my I'm okay, going. we won't do I'm that. Gonna go. We'll yeah. just put the noise canceling we'll things noise, on yeah. your ears. Yeah, that, <laughs> we have that those. Lot, like you know that what, that quick burst when I don't know what's coming, and I don't get easily jolted. But well, yeah. you take your girls to Disneyland a lot Love though, Disney. so yeah, so okay. you just you're okay with okay the fireworks. With that. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> the fireworks I'm good with. It's it's that like that. Sudden. When cars burn rubber and they yeah. screech their tires or that gotcha. sudden burst of that, you know, the ambulance going mm-hmm. on, it, it freaks me out. Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> it does. It freaks me out. So this is a difficult one because you've achieved so many things in your life and dreams in your life. Yeah. If you couldn't do baseball, yeah. like say you never dreamt of being a baseball player and yeah. you all the, take everything you've ever done off the table. Yeah. You're sitting there as a kid. Was there something that you wanted to do professionally? Hockey. Hockey. Wow. Hockey is my favorite sport. So what? Why? <laughs> what happened? I skated why did on you... my ankles. Uh, I couldn't skate well. I had weak gotcha. ankles. My ankles were like this. But I could play my position. I could score. And I could hit. I was a good. I, they put me on the power line to get the other people out of the way. I'd go around hitting everyone. Well, think of it this way: you got to keep all your teeth. I did, I did. <laughs> hockey, but hockey, hockey is. So, do you do your girls skate? Did you try I, to get I them used into to hockey? Take them, I used to take them skating like every week when they were young on oh, Saturday awesome. night. Um, now we got tickets to the Coyotes. So I think I see an episode of the three of us um, skating up there. I used to, hockey, that, uh, that'd be a blast. Let's have yeah. let's have a game. That'd be a blast. Okay, so okay. I don't know how my we'll, ankles we'll are agree to that while. now. <laughs> we have it on tape. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll just now get a I. <laughs> Elbow pads. 
Yes, all of the above. Well, yeah, my well, husband yeah. will have me all padded up, yeah. I'm sure. I want you to think of a celebrity, yeah. uh, famous person, dead or alive, yeah. that you could have dinner with. Who would it be? Roger Clemens. And why? <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Roger Clemens. Why? I grew up in Boston. Yeah. He lived in the same complex I lived in for a little really? bit. Really? Um, he was the guy that I tried to emulate as a pitcher. Yeah. I liked the way he intimidated people. Um, I like the, you know, F you attitude. Yeah. Um, I don't care if it's my mother at the plate. Smile at me. You're going down. <laughs> <laughs> that was his attitude. I love that mindset. And know? it would be over steak and some potatoes. And, yeah. Maybe yeah. some pasta. No, it was some pasta. <laughs> yeah. yeah I forget pasta. the Italian. The Italian. It was a nice pasta. What would you ask him? Um, if there was one thing that you could have changed growing up, mm -hmm. knowing what you know now, what would that be? Interesting. Because I want to see where his mindset is, and then I would have a fault. What was it? Yeah. Then, because I would like to see how what his mindset was as a kid, and what he would tell himself his future. You know, what he would go back and tell another person what they would do different. So, if I put you on the spot and say, answer that yourself. Um, okay. So, answer that myself. What would I tell? So, be a little, be more open. Yeah. Because I was a. Um, you know, didn't get really, I didn't get into trouble, but I was definitely closed minded. Right. Um, and it was my way, the highway. Yeah. And I'll just, you know, bully my way through any situation. You're right. I'll figure right. out how to get anything done. Yeah. Right. And not listen to maybe something that could have been a little bit more strategic and easier and smarter to do. Right. And that would be, definitely be me. Yeah. You know, because I definitely was, you know, probably a little bit hot headed. But you needed that fire to make the man you yeah, want to say. Absolutely. I, I, and so. I would not change a thing. Right. I, I, I could honestly say there's not one thing I would change, yeah. good or bad, because uh, it makes you who, who oh, you are today. I love right? it. So, Speaking of which, I do have some gifts for you. All right. Um, and this is, you <laughs> know, our mean? new thing in 2020. All right. Let's see what so, we got. So um, we, we talked about your favorite swear word. Yeah. <clears throat> I kind of anticipated. No, you didn't. <laughs> so when you get in, uh, to your office in the morning, you're going to check the boxes. And for it. the listeners, he can check either fuck me, fuck yes, fuck off, fuck that, fuck it, fuck you, fuck this, fuck the man, fuck yeah. <laughs> so there's that it. one. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Good thing you answered correctly. Um, I know, right? <laughs> I had to get you straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. Crazy nice. half a cup yes, ice cube. Yes. I and love it. Uh, one more, just like because I couldn't I help myself. It. Death Row Records, man. Death Row. I love <laughs> it. Oh my God! Thank you so much. Now, on a selfish note, I love it. Um, my son being a player, this is a bucket list item for me. Would you sign his glove for me? Oh my God, I'd be honored to. I absolutely. <laughs> so I can put it back in his bag. Oh my God, sign I, gloves. Yeah, absolutely, I'll sign it for you. <laughs> I was trying not to cry. Yeah. In so we will film this uh, getting yeah. getting signed. Absolutely, but, um, I'd be honored to. With that, thank you yeah. so much for coming. Thank you for having me. It was an honor to be yeah, here. Yeah, it was amazing. Thank um, you. I'll go around so we can have it for the video. Yeah. <laughs> this is Kimberly Toko, Tenacious T, Rich Barker, and Todd Bookspan. Out. Right. Awesome. So we're going to keep this filming just for a second. Of course. Um, That's super cool. That is so cool. Shoppy. It, 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 I don't boil it because it's got all his. It, yeah. If you need me to change, then I'm gone. I've been on the fence for too long. I'm a me. You could try to talk like I am not living my best life. If you want me to change, then I'm Live or die, the risk I take, my mistake Dying on the inside, pain so real You can see it when you look me in the eyes I'ma do me and that's the trick Empty the pain by letting loose I will not tie that noose I choose to let it